I'd like to dedicate this video to all those, including myself, who suffer from anxiety. Once upon a time, long, long ago in a far away kingdom, life was jolly, life was merry. The chickens clucked, the bakers baked their bread, the farmers took care of their sheep and cows and produced milk and everything was merry. Until one day, out of the blue, the sun stopped shining. The sun hid his face and everything was dark and there was no difference between night and day. In no time at all, the people locked their doors shut, covered the windows, bolted them, because if you couldn't see who was who because there was no light, then how could you know who to trust, really? Time passed, and as the people's hearts grew more and more closed, there was one girl in one of the houses, and she had a curiosity within her. Oh, she did. And the memory of the light still straight, stayed strong within her belly. So she decided, one night, in the middle of the night, or was it the middle of the night? Because day was night and night was still night. I don't even know. She decided to creep out of her house through a small crack in the window. She slivered her body through and she took her steps all the way to the front of the kingdom where the gate had been locked shut. With her fingers like claws, she pried it open and squeezed through this crack in the gate. Just beyond the edge of her kingdom, just beyond the edge of her comfort zone, to a place she had never been before. And when she looked out onto the horizon, onto the desert scape in front of her, the infinite abyss, there it was. She saw on the horizon where the sun was supposed to rise, a huge black shape, a huge figure blocking it out. And she didn't know what it was. And of course, the voice of reason and rationality would say, oh, no, 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 don't go there. But... That's where her feet took her, forward, forward, towards the black great shape, forward, step after step after step, her heart pumping faster and faster, step after step after step. And as she got closer to the horizon, she couldn't believe her eyes. This great black shape was growing smaller and smaller and smaller until eventually she arrived to the very end where this creature took place, this huge monster that she had found so overwhelming. It was about this big. She looked down at the monster and said, you, you have been blocking the sun from us. Tell me, what is your name? And the little monster looked back up with terrified eyes and said, My name is Fear! Anxiety. Shame. Sadness. And the little girl, with that light in her belly, picked up the little monster in her hands and whispered, She took it, the little monster, and put it in her pocket, put him in her pocket. And suddenly, the sun was free to shine once more. She returned to the kingdom, 
and of course people were already out on the streets celebrating and rejoicing and dancing and laughing to the light of the sun. And every time the people had in their hearts that fear and shame and anxiety and sadness, she would take out the little monster and show them that really there was nothing to be afraid of. The fireworks are going off in the background. I'll take that as a good sign. <laughs> Thank you to whoever is listening to this story. May you pass it on. I hope it touches, touches you in the way that it touches and brings medicine to me. I hope we can be real and have courage to talk about anxiety, even if, even if I know how much abundance and love I have in my life. I must know that it's okay that this, this little creature comes knocking on my door a little more often than I would like. And I'm learning not to send him away, but just to remember that it's okay. Good luck. Shabbat <laughs> Tov.